<clears throat> Hello, everyone. Guess who's back? <laughs> four track man. That's me. The man in the four track. <laughs> it's a very, very special occasion today. An extremely special occasion. Can you guess what it is? It goes something like this. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Adele. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> That's why I'm here. I would be remiss. It would be weird <laughs> if I wasn't here to weigh in and worship this one. <laughs> Adele. Adele. <laughs> hmm. Yes. Happy birthday, Adele. And carry on with this episode of Raw Impressions, you two. Thank you, Four Track Man. Indeed, today is Adele's 47th birthday. It is. Hi. Born in 1977. Mm -hmm. What a year, 1977. Kind of sexy sounding, 77. 66 for me. Yep, your birthday will come in the summer. You'll get your time. I'm not, I'm not you know, <laughs> I'm not a real birthday guy. I don't know if I've explained this before. I think you've mentioned it on the podcast that you don't really I like, like celebrating your birthday. I'm, I'm kind of proud of that fact. <laughs> it's a little feather in my cap, in my mud cap. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I like celebrating your birthday because I'm so happy you're here. So. Oh. Yeah. I like celebrating your birthday, too, although I've done it to varying degrees of success over the years. <laughs> um, oh, yes. My... Uh, my I'm a challenged gift giver. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well. I'm a little scared this year because uh, I did get you a present. <laughs> and it is something that you requested. Okay. However, mm -hmm. the gift itself is, is known. It, it's a notoriously lazy gift. Oh, no. Did you get me a robe? <laughs> is it a bathrobe i got you a robes <laughs> i got you two robes would you like to see them are, i'm kidding are you for real you actually yeah, is, did get me a bathrobe is he is he's gonna be pissed that i'm giving this to you now because we both oh we, my god we looked at we looked it over on amazon stop you did give me a bathrobe lou is handing me a box for those who are listening and not watching this on youtube Oh, my God. Should I go ahead and open the other one for you? That is hilarious. Um. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I... Oh, my God. Woman's hooded fleece bathrobe. That's hilarious. Oh, my God. It looks like a pig is like, come, like it looks like Miss Piggy is coming out of this box. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's pink. It sure is, yeah. Ooh, that's a pink. Okay. Yeah, Izzy and I decided that pink was good for. Although, actually, Izzy wanted this crazy, even crazier color, and I. She did. I, I backed off on that. Yeah. So there's Ooh. your. There's one of your bathrobes, and. Uh, okay, I got a pink, fuzzy bathrobe. It looks like I, maybe I won't need to, completely. It's like vacuum sealed in a tube. Here, What's the other one? This is this is also a a robe. Oh. Wow, has anyone seen that SNL skit? Let's uh, we'll have a, maybe a link to that in the show notes. <laughs> the and I got a robe. The the yeah. Christmas um, episode where I think Kristen Wiig, you know, she goes around and she gives everyone these like thoughtful gifts for the holidays, and then she gets one thing and it's a bathrobe, and she's yeah. like, and then I got a robe. <laughs> mom always, I think traditionally, that it being the joke being that that mom always gets kind of terrible gifts shafted she gets on, shafted yeah on christmas because no one really you know thinks about it because i mean this poor you know as the 
the caregiver, mm-hmm. the life giver, the caregiver, the, the <sighs> mom's the doing scenes, it all, and then yeah, behind the curtain, holding the levers. Well, I think in there's the kitchen. Yeah, there's some there's some dialogue out there about how uh, that can shift, and you know, I think that in the world there's some dialogue about that and some noticing that you know their change should be had and. Um, so did you give me anything else besides bathrobes or just these bathrobes? I had an idea. Not that this isn't I had a wonderful re- dear, but, um, I had I'm a re- just curious. Okay. I okay. had a real, I had a really good idea for a gift, but, uh, it, it wouldn't be able to come in time. And, uh, also I was going to go, go shopping today. Mm. I was going to, this was going to be my morning to hit the road and go out and go shopping. And I was going to go to Northampton. Mm. That's our local kind of fancy town. <laughs> fancy town. <laughs> not really. But uh-huh. no, no ho, you know, the bustling yep. hub of sure. Midwestern Massachusetts. The, the cultural hub of Midwestern Massachusetts. The town. So you were going to go to Northampton. I was going to go to Northampton. And go to the jewelry store. Ladies like jewelry. You know, I'd like to say this, that um, it's my it's my birthday today, but you are welcome to continue to celebrate me beyond April 3rd. And so if, you know, you happen to be in NoHo and you happen to ever stumble into a jewelry shop, you're welcome to still buy me something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like it when you're with me, and then we shop. And oh, then maybe we should we go some go somewhere and pick something out together. The gift giving thing. There's a there's a pressure to it. Mm. I find you very hard to buy gifts for. Very hard because I, and maybe I'm wrong, but I feel like the gifts that would really like knock your socks off are out of my budget. Um, because I know there are certain instruments or things, and you're not a big gear guy, but... Well, I'm not a gear guy. You're guy. not a gear guy, but there are things that I know you do desire in that realm, um, you know, instrument-wise. And uh, so I'd love to be able to, like, you know, present you with something so, like, oh my gosh, I never thought I would get one of these type of, you know gifts that's sort of my dream is to like get you a gift like that sometime there's been a few times I've noticed where you've mentioned certain things that you've seen other musicians have and you're like man I really really like that if only I had that you know and I'm like oh gosh I'd love to give that to him but anyway so that's sort of where I feel like you know I I kind of don't know how to get you those special and useful you know things for your musical world so i generally just get you a j crew cashmere sweater and call it a day you always hook me up you hook me up for my birthday my birthdays with you have been great well i i did you know gave you i did give you your boat tour for your birthday Mm -hmm. one year you did go Mm -hmm. my my boat tour of the connecticut river was great Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. I really enjoyed that. That might have been two years ago. It was. Yeah. Oh. Dear Adele, <laughs> happy birthday to Singing it the way that only he could. True. Yeah. Listen. Listen up. Something to listen to is coming. <laughs> listen to this. This is my version of a Casey Musgrave song. <laughs> My version. Okay. Mm. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Good. See, Lou no did offense. this today. <laughs> Lou did this today for Adele. One of the favorite songs. Lou, you want to set this one up? Yeah. Um, I did a, a multi-track okay. recording. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> song commencing. In four HBDs. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. 
Happy birthday. Happy birthday. One, two, three, four. that grow and open your mind things that swim with a neon glow how we all got here nobody knows these are real things these are real things oh what a world don't want to leave all kinds of magic all around us it's hard to believe thank god it's not a beautiful song i love that song oh it's such a good one God. just I, just in the song like oh what a world don't want to leave i'm like that it just kind of it gets me every time yeah me too. you know and then especially if if my senses are heightened if the time is heightened if i'm feeling you know if i'm feeling the fragility of life mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. comes and goes and those moments when you just really do feel in a real way how really fragile everything is. Like yeah. that song, her saying that, oh, what a world, don't want to leave. It's like, it's, it's so touching. You know, it reminds me, I mean, it's like yeah. that Listen to Williams song that she wrote for her brother who passed away. But, mm. you know. Look, look what you lost with this world, this sweet old world. You know, yeah. when, when a song really captures, like, just, like, you just saying, I'm glad I'm alive. Right. As flawed as this all is. Yeah. I still hope to be here. Yeah. I I find it so powerful. And the mm. recording of that song is really interesting because... I think that there's some very almost I I'm I would love to meet the producers and Casey because mm -hmm. I do have questions, you know. There's mm. 
in one song they have what what sounds like a flaming lips reference like a, a melodic there's a little melodic clip that sounds a lot like a song mm. off of the soft bulletin and then that song oh what a world they, there's a there's sort of a vocoder voice in it which is sort of this ro- sort of a robot sounding you know it's it's called a vocoder yeah right um that echoes a song called it's a beautiful world by devo Hmm. Which is this very sarcastic, very negative, you know, you know, it's a beautiful world we live in, you know, and it just and it ends with like, I don't want to be in this world, you know, Hmm. for you, for you, not for me, not Hmm. for me. I mean, like, that's how the song resolves. And uh, oh, so I I feel because they and which also it also has a vocoder in it as well. It also has this this vocal treatment that is shared with this Casey Musgrave song, the recording of Oh What a World. And I love it because I, it feels like it, it's a reference to that. And it feels it's almost a response. Yeah. And I like that it's it's positive. <laughs> yeah, I do, too. Because as do much too. as I loved the Devo version as a kid and as sort of a punk rocker and as sort of like, you know, when I had mm. that angst that um, now it's really nice to hear someone just like, I love the world. Yeah. And they're not afraid to touch on the tenderness. Yeah. And yeah. And the turn just like and then there was you. And there is you, you know. Yeah. So I think I you know that that's a, a that's one of my favorite love songs, I think. And we had listened to it as Izzy and I had listened to the LP this weekend while you were away and we mentioned this uh, on Mini Music Monday, but mm-hmm. it was a very it was a very tender experience and I I thought I needed I wanted to cover it for you. Mm. Cuz last last uh, birthday. <laughs> that was bad because I didn't get anything. But I did make a I did make a, a mm. version of Happy Birthday for you. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. that was my gift. Was I spent the day mm-hmm. making a multi-track recording of Happy Birthday, <laughs> and today I made I I I really felt it would be important to share that song with you because I think we've been feeling it. So mm. yes. Oh, that's so true. That's so true. And yeah, I was kind of, I was downstairs doing the dishes while you were up here um, working and getting ready for the podcast. And I was going through like, my mind was going through a variety of thoughts, but I kind of landed on, um, oh, wow, I'm just so grateful to be here. Yeah. You know, like I can spin all I want about all sorts of things, but, um, wow, I'm just really glad to be here and keep trying, Mm. you know? Yeah. And, and then I thought, gosh, what would it be like to, you know, take this as an opportunity to go? I'd love to give myself some grace. I'd love to give myself radical self-love. I'd love to try that going forward. Mm. What would that feel like to love myself in such a radical way, you know? I've done it a few times. It's great. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I've shown myself radical love here and there, Mm. you know? Like playing playing music for me is a big one. I mean, that's just, it's just such a... You right, know, your solo very, shows, I think, especially you. You yeah. get so you get so wrapped up in this beautiful like bosom of support and love, you mm-hmm. know, and people who I think really honor and appreciate your craft, you know, mm-hmm. and yeah, we've talked about that. That that must feel so like oh, just really filling you up. It must really fill you up in a nice way. Yeah, and also recording and creating. Yeah, you know. But I mean, too, besides those things where other people are giving them to you, I think just for myself, just just for myself, you know, doing it, giving myself that gift. Mm-hmm. Is there any way I can help you do that? Mm, yeah. <laughs> Remind me. <laughs> <laughs> to be easy on myself. Yeah. Yeah, I think... One of the things with like, you know, of course, getting older is, is the wisdom. It's so 
totally true. As you get older, you get wiser and um, you wish you had these wiser thoughts when you were younger. I feel all of that so deeply. And, um, and that, and yet I also just kind of want to let that go, you know, like, okay, so my younger self wasn't wise. My younger self didn't know. Okay, let's stop thinking about that and right. just accept that. Yeah. You know, let's maybe close that chapter on that puzzle. And, you know, maybe there's nothing to puzzle out at all. It's just it was a time, it was a place, it was a season of my life. There were really hard things. There were some good things. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't need, I just need to be here right now. You yeah. know? That's the most important thing. I can't go back and change any of that. And I can't change anything. You know, tomorrow I can really only work on what's happening right in front of me. Mm -hmm. And so, I, you know, it's always holidays and birthdays and New Year's are always kind of a good time to reflect on that and try to refocus yourself I think you know because it's my personal New Year's Eve right yeah and that's what you call it it's, I, I always a, feel that way <laughs> your unique way of looking at it is this uh, every birthday is a New Year's yeah but this is really the this new is year's. really my New Year's Eve or yeah. the last night well you know it's like this is my New Year's Day yeah and um yeah so I don't know I think I'm gonna just go slowly and ease my way into 47. Now that's a soft robe. Feels okay. It's not soft enough? Mm. Damn. I mean, would you like me to lie and say this is extremely soft? It's okay. No, I want you to tell me the truth. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's uh, it's soft-ish. Yeah, I mean, I went for the most, pl I was like plush. Mm -hmm. I had seen some at Muji in New York when we did those shows in December. Mm -hmm. There were some super thick ass robes there. And I was like, I should get one of these. And <laughs> I was there with you and we walked by them and you didn't really notice them. And I was, I, but I just kept thinking like, need to get robe. Robe will be appreciated <laughs> at some point. I wish I had done it. And then when I went online to try to find the Muji robe online, it was not available. Oh. I kept putting robe in the search over and over <laughs> and over again. And just candles would pop up. And I'm like, oh. they have robes. I know they mm. do. I've seen them candles at the Candles and store. robes, they go together. <laughs> and I was like, bath robes. And I was like, bath candles. I'm like, No. <laughs> Huh. No, where are those big, thick robes you had? Hmm. Because that's what you were talking about. You wanted a big, thick robe. Mm -hmm. Well, maybe the other one is thicker. I got you, too. <laughs> no, I think this will be... I. It's lovely. Thank you. That one is... Uh, the other one has a hood. Oh. Izzy and I discussed whether you would like a hood or not. The pink one has a hood? Yeah, but she she thought because you already wear that towel around your head for shower, <laughs> you wouldn't need the, the hood. But I I just thought, you know. I like the option. I could have one with a hood, one without. Mm -hmm. I am sitting here pondering, do I put this in my suitcase for our upcoming trip or no? Hmm. Because you know, it seems like it might take up too much space. Break out the pink one. Check that one out. Or I could just leave it in that tube because it's ready to be packed. Oh. You know, it'll never be that tight again. Well, you kind of want to see what it looks like. You might get it there and open it up and be like, oh, this is the one that sucks. <laughs> Lou got well, me two robes. Then I just and leave this it. this is the one that sucks. Leave it outside in your front lawn in L.A. and it'll, you blink and it'll be gone. So Drape it over a bush. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to be very happy. <laughs> It's one of the great things about Whoa. L.A. You just drag anything you don't want just right right into your front yard and you blink once and it's gone. Mm -hmm. It's just the magic, magic of L.A. We're going back to L.A. That's what I'm referencing. We're going there for our kids' spring break. Um, when in doubt, go yeah, to L.A. When in doubt, just go west. <laughs> yeah, go west. Go, go hang out in L.A. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Coming back to L.A., guys, if anyone wants to welcome us with their L.A. arms, I don't know. We're going to go uh, horseback riding. Yeah, I'm a little, I have some reservations about that, but yeah. I'm not going to let that ruin it, you know? Yeah. I'm not going to be the dad that's like, I'm not going. 
You know, you're going. I, I bought. I'm the not tickets. going. I'm not getting on that horse. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm afraid. I, I, yeah, I've been thrown from a horse. In my Practice lifetime. trust. Trust. Trust the horse. Well, happy birthday. Thank Honey, you. As it this continues. This concludes the happy birthday HBD <laughs> episode for the delightful Adele. <laughs> Very, very delightful Adele. <laughs> you know I'm a fan. You know that I'm somewhat obsessed. <laughs> Let's be honest. But it's fine. We've come to an understanding. Thank you very much for listening to this, this, the 72nd episode of Raw Impressions. And remember, I'm back. And, oh, oh, before I forget, I'm... I'm going to be in a very special video debuting this week. This week on the Barlow Family General Substack, I'm going to be narrating a video of Lou trying to change his strings. And believe me, it's something to see. <laughs> it takes this man a very long time to do something that could actually be quite simple. <laughs> Is it any surprise that he's complicated something else? Well, you can <laughs> see it for yourself. It will be debuting like I don't know when. When is it debuting, Lou? I would think Friday. I've got a little more work to do on it. Okay. Track, man. Well, thank you very oh. much, everyone. Bon voyage. Bonsoir. Bonsoir. Tschüss. <laughs> see ya. Raw impressions.